Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 17 of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Today we have a medium farm we have done before. Um, 75 sword colors and uh, what is this? The, the three color thing? Yeah, I mean, this is basically a very well studied problem. Um, I mean, it's a very specific one. It's almost trivia and that's it. In that... Um, in that it is just like either you know it or you don't. I mean, you could probably come up with it. I don't actually remember it, uh, but apparently I have three videos, four videos maybe even on this problem already. So I don't know how original I'm going to be today. But definitely, uh, yeah, let's do, solve it together. Let me know in the comments if you're watching this and not one of the other four or five videos that even I've just done. But I, the idea here is just this thing called Dutch flag. Um, I think it's Dutch flag. Is it another country? I don't know. Um, but... But the idea is that, uh, yeah, you sort, you you basically implicitly, uh, to keep everything in place, uh, you have a pointer, you have a pointer, you know, so let's say you have some, you know, one, two, two, two something like this, and maybe not a four. But here, the idea is that having a pointer somewhere that separates them so that, uh, so that some invariants hold, right? Uh, in this case, it would be that the first part would be, say, zero, the last part is, is two, oops, is two, Right, and that everything that is not zero or two will go to the end, and um, and that's really the idea, right? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you, you can you you could, and even if you just do it, even with just this idea, you could do it in multiple paths. But if you want to, do, like, if you just do, um. I mean, yeah, I guess you guys are just counting sword, which is, mm, okay, fine. But, uh, which then in that case, I guess you don't need the Dutch flag. But, but let's say you want to do it in one pass, which is not something that most normal human, uh, modern human care about anymore. Because back in the day, uh, there's a huge penalty on cash misses. So you want to do it in one pass so that uh, you, you retrieve from memory, from IO, very rarely. But nowadays... There's like five levels of cash, you know, the caches are pretty big as well, you know, so like we don't really care about one pass anymore, but sometimes it's still just fun to think about, right? Um, okay, but yeah, but, do I, but as long as you keep this invariant, then now you can kind of think about how to, um, how, oh, and I can, do, I don't even remember, I'm not gonna lie, I don't actually remember the actual Dutch flag, but there are probably things that you can play around with, right? Um, for example, here. If you do something like that, and then now you're going from left to right, right? Um, you have a one, so then what do you do with the one? Well, you can just swap it to the back, um, maybe? Hmm. How, how would you do it? I don't know. But in any case, yeah. Actually, I don't know. I don't know that I remember this uh, algorithm. Uh, I do know that that's it. And in theory, in normal uh, situation, you just Google it. But let me see if I could re-derive it. So maybe that could be interesting. Um, but yeah, so okay, so I think the invariant is that you want the zero to be in the f front, two's in the back, and then now, uh, okay, let's just say we start over, right? Um, uh, then what happens? Well, now you, you go from zero to one, and then now you see, well, okay, uh, and we put, the, there are still two pointers, it's just that it's at the very end, right? So maybe it would be here, like here, and here, right? Now we have we see a zero, so we push we sort it to the one zero. Um, I don't know where do we sort the one. Hmm, actually, huh, maybe I am mis thinking about this. Do we want to sort the one or do we want to sort the two? No, okay. I think the idea is that we actually skip, and I don't know if this is true. I'm just trying to rethink about it. But I think the idea is that you can skip the ones um, with the pointer. Because then now, when you get a zero, you would just update it anyway, right? So that means because every here um, you update the pointer, but then you also now shift the zero to one, and then at, it's just that at the very end. Um, so if you have like a pointer separator, whatever, everything to the right of the separator, but to the left of the current pointer will be ones, right? And that's all you need to know. I think that's right, right? So here you see a two, so then you, you swap this two with the last character, which is a one, so you swap this two with the one, and then now you move the pointer to, so that, as I said, everything to the, 
right of this second point there will be a 2, right? And I think that's it. So now you have 0, so you swap this 0 with this one, right? So 1, 0, and then now you move this uh, divider thing, and then so forth. I think that's, and I think that's good enough. Um, I think I was a little bit... Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't say I forgot, it's just that... Um, uh, it's just that, um, yeah. Um, yeah, just didn't remember it. Bandicats. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, I just watched the Knicks game. Of course, I, I'm wearing a, a Knicks jersey. Um, so go Knicks. It's a little bit late. I don't know. Whatever. Go Knicks. Uh, it's been, you know, I, I am way old, but still, it's been a long time since they it made it to conference finals. So go Knicks, go. Anyway, go New York. Uh, anyway, um, th that's basically the idea. Um, and I think now that we got this right, then now we have we can just define things, right? N is equal to length of nums. Um, zero pointer, to say, is equal to zero, right? And two pointer is equal to um, N minus one, right? Maybe. And then the invariant is that, uh, and then and maybe the current pointer, maybe we could call it the one pointer, I don't know, is, right? And then the invariant, and we call about what is an invariant, right? So if you're not familiar with it, invariant is just something that never changes uh, at the end of beginning, at the end, or at certain points of something, right? Um, and 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 in here, the invariant is that um, yeah, everything to the left of zero pointer will be zero, right? That's basically it. Everything to the to the right of two pointer will be two, and then everything to the left, or oh sorry, to the right of the zero pointer, but left of current pointer will be one. And that's it. Right? And then now once you have that, then it's just uh, for, for, and technically we don't have, we don't need the current pointer. It's just that, I mean, I wanted to write it out, but technically you may, you, you would put it in the for loop, right? Something like that, right? Um, yeah. And then, of course, you, oh yeah, I was going to say, of course, you need to answer, but actually you don't, you're supposed to do it in place. So, actually, we don't even have to return anything, because I guess you just checked the nums thing. Um, yeah, okay. So then now, uh, yeah, if nums of current pointer is equal to zero, then we want to swap swap with zero pointer. Um, so we have nums of zero pointer, uh, nums of current pointer is equal to nums of current pointer oops uh nums of zero pointer right it's just a regular swap in python uh and then here now we now by definition because it, because this is zero um we can update the zero pointer right if i could do it correctly and then else if nums of current pointer is equal to two then we swap with two pointer, right? So nums of uh, two pointer, nums of current pointer, uh, you go to nums of current pointer, uh, nums of two pointer. And then we just, now we can move the two pointer, subtract by one, right? And we're good, I think. Yeah, and then current pointer obviously updates. And if it's a one pointer, we technically don't need to move it, and that's why oh, we don't return. I think that's good. Let's. I mean, we could run it, right? We can run it for free and then see what happens. And clearly, I am very wrong. Uh huh. Why is that? <laughs> Whoopsie daisies, apparently. But uh, let's see. Am I wrong consistently? Huh. Am I consistently put the two in the back? If it is a two. We swap it with the two pointer. That sounds right, right? Uh, and then we we move to the thing. Yeah, I don't know. That that's uh, we could print numbers every step of the way, just to debug. But I'm just curious where I had something weird. Okay, so da -da 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 -da. <coughs> uh, the second is good, right? And then two. Oh, I see. Um. Okay, I see, I see. It's just I'm dumb. Because the, the TLDR is that it went by, so this N is actually wrong. So it should be while current... So maybe... Okay, I was a little bit bad about this. It's equal to two-pointer, right? Because now if 
the current pointer is pa past two pointer, you know that everything is gonna be a two pointer, so you don't need it, right? But yeah, but we always update current pointer. Okay, as I said, I I don't like um. Uh, like I said, I don't try to memorize these as much as it sometimes looks like I do. So that, that that's what happens. Huh. Still wrong, eh? eh? Let's see. But uh, but I think the idea is kind of right, right? Uh, so Chrome one, I'll stand it out. So after this, we swap the one of the two. Oh, okay. Huh. I mean, I'm apparently I'm bad, but this doesn't happen. But this only happens if. When does this happen? I thought that you would always change it, but I think it doesn't happen when it is uh, a two. But it happens when it's a zero and a one. But maybe I'm wrong because the the thing is that if it's a two, then you swap something in. But you have to compare the thing that is in. Actually, I think that's the case for both of these. Right. Let's think about it. I didn't really think about it, honestly. Okay. I mean, the, the idea here is that we still want these invariants to be true, but whatever we were doing, we did not hold these things to be true, right? So basically, okay. We have a zero. We swapped it with the zero pointer. The thing is that, okay, in this case, everything to the left is, is either a 0 or a 1, right? Because if there's a 2, then we would have swapped it to the end. So, and it cannot be a 0 because if it's a 0, we have swapped. So that means that um, if, if this happens... Th then the current pointer will always be either a one or it is or current point is equal to zero pointer. So so I think in this case we can actually increment. Uh, in this case we don't increment, and then if it's a one we do increment. That's actually kind of uh it, it is kind of trickier and kills some of the beauty for sure. But but it doesn't, you know, you, have, you could have the most beautiful code, but if it's wrong, then it's not that beautiful, right? Um, okay, still wrong, though. Maybe I'm a little bit awkward on some of the understanding. Let's see. Uh, okay, so it goes one. So after it swaps a two, and then it has a one, so then it goes to here. Oh, this should be a equal to, I suppose. Yeah, okay. Because it's supposed to be to the right of the two pointer. Two pointer is the current swap point. So I was just off by one. Um, yeah, okay. I am too lazy to actually come up with more test cases, so I'm just going to submit. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, hmm. I mean, that's fine. It's it's good. It's just that I'm, I'm, normally there's a pop up, and I, I don't know. Right, let me refresh the page real quick. Maybe, okay, it does, the, maybe the pop-up just didn't happen for some reason. Like, it gave me the uh, the the streak thingy. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, that is all I have for this one. Like I said, if you really want a deeper explanation, it's a Dutch flag. Uh, that's not for this video. But, uh, but yeah, if you want to see how I come up with it, even just trying to, and the idea is just keeping these invariants, right? Like, everything else, you saw that, like, I... I I don't know. I, I think sometimes people overemphasize memorizing and, and all these things when all you have to do is just knowing a few things and then just kind of come up with it, um, even if it takes a little bit longer. I mean, of course, in an interview or, or, um, or a contest, you, you might not have that luxury, but, but I think, like, you know, it's just good practice anyway. Anyway, uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy to your mental health. Go next. I'll see you out later and take care. Bye bye.